love. It's used 517 times in the, in the uh, Bible, 284 times in the Old Testament, 233 times in the New Testament, love. Yeah, it's a widely used word. And in the Old Testament, of course, we find agape love, uh, God's love. And uh, we know that it says in 1 John 4, 8, God is love. We know that 1 Corinthians 13 defines love. But, you know, it's really interesting when you look at uh, weddings and marriages and divorces, uh, how loosely we as humans must use the word love. I don't know very many people that ever came into my office to get married that didn't say they loved each other. And yet there's one divorce every 36 seconds. Let me say that again for you. There's one divorce every 36 seconds. 876,000 divorces per year right here in America. 41% of all marriages end in divorce. And I'd venture to say that at least one of the partners would say, I don't love them anymore. Or I'm not in love with them anymore. You say, well, I thought it was 50% of all marriages fail. Yes, it is. As a matter of fact, it's increasing over 50% of marriages fail. Well, how can that be if only 41% of marriages end in divorce? Well, because 60% of those that marry a second time fail and 73% of those that marry a third time fail. The highest rate of divorce, ages 20 to 24. The second highest, ages 25 to 29. Between the two, it represents 60% of the marriages that will fail in just the ages 20 through 29. 11% fail when they're under 20. That doesn't surprise me too much because that's pretty young to be married. But less than 10% of marriages fail after the age of 40. Less than 10% of marriages fail after the age of 40. Now listen to this statistic. You have heard lots of couples say, well, we'll live together for a while and see if it's going to work out. If you live together before you marry, the increase of the risk of divorce is an increase of 40%, an increased risk of 40% when you live together. So why did I bother going into all those statistics about divorce? Well, because God's love is a different kind of love than the love that humans say that they have for each other. Now listen to these descriptions. Jeremiah 31.3, I have loved you with an everlasting love. That's not just for the average of eight years when most divorces occur. Or Lamentations 3.21-23, this I, this I recall to my mind, therefore I have hope the Lord's loving kindness indeed never ceases for his compassion never fails. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, God. Psalm 63, 1 through 3. O oh God, you are my God. I shall seek you earnestly. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh yearns for you. In a dry and weary land where there is no water. Thus I have seen you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory because your, listen, loving kindness is better than life. My lips will praise you. I've loved you with an everlasting love. First John 4, 8 says, God is love. Not that God loves, but he is love. And it's an everlasting love, a never-ending love. His mercies and his kindness and his faithfulness is new every morning. Wouldn't you like to be able to say that about your mate's love for you? That it's new every morning and that it just grows and that it's an everlasting love and it never ceases and he never ceases or she never ceases to have compassion or loving kindness. 
God's love is a wonderful thing. No wonder it's used so many times in the Bible to tell us about how God loves us and about how we should love God. An everlasting love, a love that never fails. We take some chances with divorce, don't we? As a matter of fact, it was really interesting to me as I was looking at this subject uh, and the statistics. Uh, one of the polls that uh, looked at uh, divorce by faith said that 29% of Baptists divorce, where only 21% of agnostics and atheists divorce. You're more likely to divorce being a Baptist than you are being an atheist or an agnostic. That doesn't speak very much for the way we take our faith, does it? Nevertheless, in spite of the risks of marriage, there's nothing better than a good marriage and nothing worse than a bad one. But the relationship that we enter into with God is an everlasting love, for He is love. And his mercies and his kindness and his compassion never cease. They're new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. That's your thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day.